So once you have your toy opened up and you've identified which button it is that you want to adapt, you may find a circuit board and one of these little circles or discs, I'll call it. Uh, and how these work is that when the button is pressed, uh, this little rubber gasket flexes and that black circle makes contact with each half of this disc and it completes the circuit and sets the toy off. So we can essentially bypass this disc using our external switch or button. Uh, and we can do that a couple of different ways. The first way and probably the best way is uh, to follow the lines that lead to and from this disc. So you can see this half of the disc goes out to this middle node. This half of the disc fall, goes out branches and goes to this one and this one. So if we solder to these points, you know, one on each half of the disc, then that will essentially bypass this whole thing and we're good to go. But before we do that, we need to verify that those nodes will actually work. And you can do that using either a pair of tweezers or a little bit of wire. And all you're gonna do is essentially touch one end of your tweezers to one of these nodes and touch it to the other node. And if the toy goes off, then you know you're good to go and solder to those points. Uh, I, this toy, this half of the disc uh, branches so uh, I know for a fact that I can do either one of these, but you need to verify that first before you solder to them. So just use a pair of tweezers, touch the nodes you're in questioning, and if the toy goes off, you know you're good to go. Now the benefit of doing it this way is that these points are a lot easier to solder to than trying to solder directly to the disc, and you still have ability of, of using the button itself in the normal fashion. So uh, that's the best option, but sometimes it's not always obvious which nodes um, you're supposed to solder to, or it, it can just be tough. So that's not always an option. Uh, so what we can do then is we could uh, wire or solder our wires to each half of this disc directly. Now, when we do that, a couple things you need to know. Uh, one is you wanna use lots of flux. And what that does is just helps uh, to keep the circuit board from burning up with the soldering iron because uh, the soldering iron is very hot and this can kind of melt and kind of get damaged. So the flux kind of helps prevent that. It'll still get damaged if you keep the soldering on there, iron on there for too long, but it will help. Uh, the other thing you need to be aware of is you need to solder one wire to each half of this disc, but you got to make sure that your solder does not cross over from one half to the other. Because if that solder is touching both halves of the disc, it's essentially completing the circuit all of the time and the toy will either continuously go off or it may just not work at all. So uh, always try to solder to these nodes if possible. This is kind of a last case um, option, but you can do it. It's just a little difficult. Um, so those are your options if you have a circuit board with one of these discs, uh, either find the nodes and solder to them or solder directly to the disc. Thank you.